New details tonight in a gruesome kidnapping case. These two men, 36 year old Daryl King and 24 year old Uriah Huffman, accused of hog tying their victim, leaving him bleeding on the side of a road. The night team's John Paul Barajas reports documents reveal the victim may have known he was going to be a target. Terrorized and left to die. According to an arrest affidavit, a 24 year old man had multiple gunshot wounds to the head and arm. Investigators also described stab wounds to his chest and trauma to his face. Bear County Sheriff's deputies found him alive and hogtied on an East Bear County road back in April. And then left on the road to die like some animal. Uh, it just shows me the total lack of regard for human life that these two suspects seem to have. Sheriff Javier Salazar announcing these two suspects are now in custody. An affidavit shows the victim may have known he was going to be targeted. It states the victim's mom noticed something strange just days before the attack. Her son came home without his car. Investigators say the victim's brother later found the car with someone inside. After forcing that person out, he brought the car back home. It was then the victim in this case told his family, quote, you don't know how much trouble you got me in for getting the car back. That he felt that he was going to be in trouble for having gone back and retrieved his vehicle from these people. Um, that may or may not be what's at the root of this uh, this uh, assault. The sheriff saying he thinks all three men were involved in the drug trade to some extent and that on the day of the attack, the victim got into an argument with one of the suspects, but it's not clear if it was over that car. Now, the victim surprisingly did survive, but because of his injuries, he had to have an eye surgically removed. As for the investigation, that is still ongoing. The sheriff says they do have people of interest, but they don't have any suspects at this time. The Bear County Sheriff's Office, John Paul Barajas, KSAP 12 News.